My name is Max Feinstein and I'm an anesthesiologist filming at the Mount Sinai Hospital in New York City. Typically in my videos I show what anesthesiologists do in operating rooms like this one. But in this special video I take you inside an interventional pain management fluoroscopy suite to show you the unique skills that anesthesiologists can learn to treat acute and chronic pain conditions. If you find this video interesting or helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you liked it and subscribe to the channel. Let's dive in. My name is Marad Shahabar. Uh, I am the program director of Mount Sinai Pain Management. Pain management encompasses so much. Uh, we try to uniquely tailor a set therapy for patients and it really can encompass different modalities inclusive of physical therapy, acupuncture, uh, medications, as well as interventions inclusive of injections and other uh, more advanced procedures. So right now we're doing a, something called a radiofrequency ablation and this actually helps decrease a lot of axial back pain in patients who have responded well to medial branch box in the past. This is the actual needle itself uh, that's specific for the radiofrequency ablation. The black portion of it is, um, is insulated, and the, the non-insulated portion is that little silver portion at the end, and that's where the heat emits from, right there. I'm doing L3 to S1 radiofrequency ablation here. Perfect, wow, okay, good. You can feel the cold spray, and you feel three pinches here, okay? Mm -hmm. Oftentimes, by doing a radiofrequency ablation, uh, it takes away the pain for a much longer period of time. Pain is so elusive. Pain is so hard to define. Um, and, and, you know, we, we, we listen to patients and we hear what they have to say and, and let them describe that pain to you. Um, and our goal is to minimize that as best as possible. Yes, I always say our ideal goal is to get it to zero out of ten. But even if we get it to a place where it's more manageable and they're not constantly thinking about their pain and they're able to live their lives to the fullest, that to me is, is the most fulfilling, rewarding aspect of our job. We're actually going to do a motor test to ensure we're nowhere near a motor nerve. And then we're going to do um, a pulse ablation followed by a radio frequency ablation where we actually place the feet up to about 80 degrees Celsius. When we do a lateral picture, you can see the epidural space is right over here. You want to be outside of the epidural space, and we're in the, actually what we call the facetogenic line. So the tip of the needle should be in this line over here, which is called the facetogenic line, and that should be uh, an ideal position for these needles. And so all the needles are hooked up to this machine. And we're going to do a motor test now. Yeah. Excellent. Good response there. Nothing down the leg. We're going to place some of the medication in there combination of two things, one being a local anesthetic and another steroid. Uh, hopefully with the local anesthetic it's an ionic solution so it'll increase the burn area which will be ideal and then of course some steroid to help decrease any post um, ablation neuritis. You know the medial branch lies right over here and so the goal is to be in that in that crevice there. See it's reaching a, a about 80 degrees Celsius. It usually fluctuates between 75 and 80 degrees. And we'll do this for two rounds. And what we do is we actually move the needle around so we can hopefully maximize the area of lesion. What conditions do you commonly treat as a pain management? Most common um, pain conditions are chronic low back pain, which is inclusive of both axial pain and pain that's ridiculous, pain that's going down the legs. And then uh, probably the second uh, major is, is going to be headaches and neck pain. Um, after that, it probably splits up into peripheral joints like hips and knees and shoulders. And we see really everything and anything in between. And um, it, it's a great learning environment for our fellows who uh, not only see the bread and butter, but see more unique uh, things that they may see once or twice this whole entire year. What would you describe as some of the unique challenges that a pain management physician has that maybe an OR anesthesiologist wouldn't have? Anesthesia, oftentimes you go home, you know, you, you kind of can leave your work home, not always. I know there's some things that linger. In pain management, I think the difference is um, we take it home. I find that there is um, a continuity of care which uh, extends 24 7. For any current anesthesia residents or future anesthesia residents who are watching this video, what insights would you like to impart to get them thinking about pain management? The exposure that oftentimes uh, residents have are mostly on the inpatient side. And I think that 
uh, sometimes skews people's uh, perception of what we do on a daily basis. Oftentimes those patients are in acute pain, they have external and internal stressors going on, either periop or um, just being in the hospital in general. Um, and, that's, and that's somewhat different than what we do here on the outpatient side. And I think that's a nuance that some of the anesthesia residents that don't have exposure may miss. And I tell our residents to come on by, even unannounced, uh, you know, just to get a feel of what we, what we do here uh, with the different modalities that are uh, employed on the office setting as well as the floral suite, which are probably a little different than what we do uh, and employ on the, on the inpatient side of things. For any of the anesthesia residents who are watching this video and thinking about applying for pain management as a fellowship, where can they find more information about Mount Sinai's program? Sure. So we have a website, uh, and of course, we're listed on ERAS. Um, we uh, are enhancing that website, so hopefully it'll have a little bit more information soon enough. We also have an Instagram account. Uh, it's Mount Sinai Pain Fellowship. We have eight fellows, uh, and so that's one of the larger programs in the, uh, in the country. We have a very high volume of procedures that we do at Mount Sinai uh, Pain Management, um, inclusive of bread and butter, which is medial branch blocks, facet blocks, um, radio, radio frequency ablations and epidurals, as well as joint blocks. But we also do more advanced procedures, such as PRP, kyphoplasties, both spinal cord and DRG stimulators, uh, peripheral nerve stimulators, and the list goes on. And the amount of um, procedures that we do here it really helps make our fellows much more well-rounded. They get to see it a lot and do a lot, and I think that makes them more successful leaving the fellowship. What led you to Mount Sinai specifically? Well, I was born here, so I, I knew I was going to be a lifer no matter what. You know, the camaraderie between uh, myself and my colleagues, but not only that, the anesthesia department, and within the hospital itself, I mean, um, we're very collegial. We're, we're always looking out for the patient and the patient's best interest. And I find that it's such a wonderful environment to work in. And I, I cannot see myself anywhere else. If a patient wants to book an appointment for evaluation with you or one of the other pain management physicians here, how can they do that? So uh, a way to get in touch with us is really calling our office. A good thing about here at, at Mount Sinai is we can accommodate next day or even same day appointments. I know there are some departments that have six month, eight month waiting periods. You know, we, we know that pain cannot wait. So we try our hardest to see patients uh, as soon as we can and oftentimes the same day or even the next day. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for letting me get into the floral suite with you and film what's going on. This has been very illuminating. Murad, pleasure to talk to you. Of course, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your time for letting me get into the pain man. What is it? What is it called? Uh, fluoroscopy suite. Okay. Cool. I think good. we're good. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Nice.